Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to talk about Nova Launcher and all the settings in Nova Launcher and everything I did to make my phone look like this. The phone I'm using is the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. I do have a glass screen protector on here and if you guys want a glass screen protector which I think they are better than those plastic ones that are flimsy this one I highly recommend it comes with these tabs on the top and on the bottom that makes it really easy to put on and pretty much anybody could put one on so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the description down below and also the other thing I have on this phone is the skin on the back this is a skin from D brand. I don't really like cases. I feel like they take away from the aesthetics of the phone and the design of the phone. So I use skins and if you like that, then I'm gonna link this in the description down below. But we are gonna get into this video and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did to get my phone to look like this. So starting things off, this is the way the phone comes with the TouchWiz UI from Samsung and personally I don't like that. So the first thing that I did is go into the apps and disable any of the apps that I don't want by simply clicking the edit right here, scrolling through the apps that I don't want. For instance, this calculator app because I will be using the Google calculator, I can click disable. It's going to ask to me to turn it off and I will say yes and therefore it's gone and I can click done. Now some of the apps you can't turn off but I'm going to show you how to hide them in Nova Launcher once we get into Nova Launcher and also don't worry if you disabled an app and you want to get it back all you can do all you would need to do is go into the settings go into applications application manager and filter it out to disabled and you can basically find the app that you disabled and re-enable it back and therefore you would have it right after that I actually went into the settings and went to the second side here where it says personal and went into themes and I wanted to download a material theme to give it the same theme that the stock Google phones have it so I downloaded mine and it's right there I'm gonna go ahead and link that in the description for you guys but basically you would need to go to more settings here go into more search and then you would just search up material and once you do that if you scroll you'll find exactly the one that I downloaded which is right here and it's gonna show up in your um, home page of my themes and you can just click on that and click apply and apply once again and it'll take a few minutes and now you can see that this home screen starting to look like um, the Nexus or the pixel phones with the uh, standard um, Google and if you pull this down even the settings have changed and if you go into the settings it's still in the same tab and same format that Samsung phones have it but now you have this black and white you know theme and uh, look of it which I really like because it makes it look more stock Android the next thing I want to share with you guys is where I get my wallpapers. I have an app here called Backdrops, if I can find it, right here. And in Backdrops, they got pretty cool wallpapers and you can scroll through them and click the little heart and that will save it in the this section so later you can find the ones you liked. Also another thing I like about it is they have wallpaper of the day and if you want to apply wallpaper you just click set, it's going to cycle through, download it and that's what your wallpaper is. But if you want to set it also for your lock screen, you can just press and hold it and it's going to pull up this menu where you can click home screen and lock screen and that way you'll see what it's going to look like and you can click set. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the description for you guys as well, but it's called backdrops. Now that we got uh, the apps disabled that we did not want and also got the theme that we wanted, now is when we download Nova Launcher and once you download Nova Launcher it's going to ask you to set it as your home and you just do that when you click the home button but if it doesn't you can always go into the settings go to applications go to default applications home screen and select which launcher you want I have some other ones that I'm testing here but you would click Nova click the home button and now it's going to set it into Nova Launcher so if we go ahead and go into Nova Launcher, the first thing you're going to see is desktop and in the desktop section, I have the grid layout set to 5x5, which I found was perfect for this phone. And also when you go into icon layout, I have that set to 125% 
because that was perfect size for me for having a large screen phone but you can play around with that and try different sections and that's pretty much everything that I changed in the desktop area and this next section is apps and widget drawer and in here same thing I went to the drawer app set the grid size to 5x5 five five, and then also the icon layout set it to 125% which I've mentioned said earlier that it's a perfect size for this phone screen and then if you scroll down um, I also have the frequently used apps I have that checked and that just puts a row on the top showing you the most frequent apps that you use if you don't want that you can always uncheck that and disable it and the last thing I put up there is the search bar and in the search bar it's the same thing it puts a search bar at the top of your app drawer so you can search for specific apps if you can't find it and in this same section if you scroll all the way to the bottom there is hide apps and this is what I use to hide the apps that I don't use and that way they're not in your way or they don't take up space in your app drawer or in your desktop and this is a great tool and a great feature now this is only in the paid version of Nova Launcher so you won't be able to hide the apps in the free uh, version but that's just uh, something I wanted to share with you guys and let you know that, that it's the paid version in case you can't find it on the free one the next section is the dock and in the dock you want to select the dock background and change it to rectangle you can have it this platform or rounded but rectangle gives it more of a Google pixel look make the color transparent and then the transparency make it 90% and that way you can see it so, we, so you know where to swipe up right after that you want to go to the dog pages and that's just one you have an option where you can swipe the dock and have more than one row of apps but I just found that to be weird and I just kept that at one and then if you go to the dock icon you can have five or four or pretty much any number four I thought was kind of small for this big phone and six was just too cluttered so I went ahead and went with five and then when it came to the icon size I made that 125 percent which I feel like once again is perfect for this big screen and you can go ahead and mess around with that make it smaller and make it bigger but those are the settings that I went in the dock section and basically that's all I did in this area up next we have the folders and that's the folders that you create on the desktop when you put a bunch of apps together and in there I have the icons coming out like a grid and that's the same design from the Google Pixel you can have it stacked or in a fan or in a line but I went ahead and went with the grid and then when it comes to the background of the folders I went ahead with the nougat preview and that way it also looks like the pixel if you can't tell by now that's the theme that I'm going for in my setup and then when it comes to transitions I have it circle but you can also have it zoomed or you know pop out like a circle I just feel like the circle is a better transition and it flows better and then when you get down to the size once again I went with 125% but I dropped it back down to 115 because I didn't want the icons inside looking like they were too big or too cluttered so I found the perfect size for inside the folders is 115% but feel free to play around with the size to your liking and to tweak it the way you like it now in the next section of the look and feel in here the only thing that I messed around with was the icon theme and I went ahead and downloaded a pixel icon pack but I also downloaded a marshmallow pack and I ended up going with the pixel icon pack and this is the icon pack that I talked about in my other video and I'm going to go ahead and put the link to it in the description down below so you guys can download it but it's called the pixel icon pack nougat free UI and once you download it it is going to show up in the Nova launcher settings so when you are in the look and feel section you just go to icon theme and it's going to pop up and it allows you to select it and that's the theme that all your icons are going to have so let's talk about that uh, pixel pill and the little widget with the weather on it when you click on it it lets you search in um, Google now and pretty much anything throughout your phone and then also if you click on the date it does pull up your calendar so you can look at your calendar and go ahead and add stuff to it and this comes with Nova Launcher there are some standalone ones that you can download if you don't want to use Nova Launcher I will put a uh, link in the description for you but this comes with Nova Launcher and if you just long press on the home screen go to the widget section 
and you go up to where Nova Launcher is in the lot you go to the last section which says quick search bar it doesn't look like the pixel um, widget but if you press and hold you can go ahead and put it and I'm just gonna slide it over to a third page to let you guys know how it's gonna come up and once this comes up you can just press and hold and click resize and make it bigger so that it spreads throughout the whole screen and move it back up so it looks like it's part of there and this can be customized inside Nova Launcher if we open up Nova Launcher and you go back to the desktop section you'll see search bar style and in the search bar style that's when you can go ahead and customize what the search bar will look like you can also click on different um, styles and then change what the logo looks like within the style for instance if you like this style where you have the Google and the mic and the bunch of dots you can click that and have different Googles and different mics show up or you can go ahead and click the pick uh, the pill style and just click the G or the black and white G or the full Google name I personally like to click the pill style and then click the colorful one so that's what it looks like and once I go home this is what it's going to show up like on the home screen so that's Nova Launcher and those are the settings that I use to get this look and if you guys like the video please give this video a thumbs up also consider subscribing to my channel and if you saw some apps as I was going through my phone and you wanted to check them out I have a video on best Android apps which I'm going to link in the card right now so make sure you check that out and if there's any other questions or something that I missed go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section down below or a question I'll be in there answering all your questions questions and once again thanks for watching I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one and until then stay plugged